Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate and this is a very short video tutorial on creating a Facebook page to use with your Gator website. Create your Facebook page. Create page Business or brand, community or public, business or brand, get started. Name your page. You want to use your keyword. Add a category. is optional and click don't show my address if you do not want your address being shown. Continue. Add a profile picture help people find your page by adding a photo. Just upload a profile picture that you would like to use. Upload a cover photo. Take this number here, this URL. You'll see the facebook.com and I've got Gator Website Builder demos and to the end of this number and copy that. Go back into your Gator Website Builder, into your Manage, to your Social, and then paste your new page in. Okay. So now I am now going to Publish this. Make sure you go to the online website. Follow your link from your Facebook icon to make sure that it is going to the right page.
Make sure to copy the whole URL. Back to manage, to social. and then paste. So you have facebook.com, you have the name of your page here, and then you have a number, and then click OK. Save. Preview. Yes, I do want to open this link. Set up your page so that it is clear what it is your business is about. Go into the three dots beside share. Edit page information. General, put a description in, and I believe you have 255 characters you can use. Make sure that everything that you add, say I take this out and put everything that you add, you make sure you save your changes. Categories, local service. Enter your telephone number if you want your telephone number used or my page doesn't have a phone number. Your website. And this is where you would go back to your, uh, your Gator website and make sure that you have your proper address. Make sure that you have your proper address. You get it from the URL at the top in the top search browser. And then you just copy it. Go back to your website or your Facebook and paste it in here. Save the changes. The email that you would like to use with your page, save the changes. Does your business have a street address? If so, click here, save the changes. If you are located in another place, like for instance, 
it says here inside Grand Central Station. So you would then put your details there. Service area, you can add a neighborhood, cities, or regions. And hours, always open. For me, you would put your own selected hours. Price range is unspecified. And the privacy policy link, you need to get this information from your website from a privacy policy page and save the changes. Next is your contact and we've already filled out this information so that's good. We filled out location, hours and more. Okay so we filled everything out, everything is all filled out You want to turn on instant replies. So this is the best one here.